72% of the world's surface is covered by oceans, and only 5% of that has been explored, leaving vast amounts of it left to our imaginations. The sea life we have yet to discover is too numerous to even fathom. Welcome to Oceans. Oceans is an engine building game for two to four players from North Star Games. Players take turns creating unique sea creatures trying to survive the deep and wondrous waters. Will your creation be able to survive, or will they become another creature's sashimi? Let's dive into oceans! Oceans has two ways to play. If you've never played before, it's suggested to play with the reef variant, otherwise add in the deep. Place the reef in the center of the table and place the species board in a stack next to it. Place the Cambrian Explosion card in the first ocean zone. Shuffle the scenario cards and randomly place one on each of the shelves. You won't need the rest, so return them to the box. If you're playing the Reef Variant, use the Reef Variant side of the Cambrian Explosion card and the Abundance and Fertile scenario cards. Shuffle the surface deck and deal six cards to each player. Then place the deck face down next to the Reef. Shuffle the deep deck and place two random cards face up next to the ocean to form the gene pool, and place the rest of the deck face down next to it. If you are playing the reef variant, skip this step. Place the 60 reserve population tokens in the reserve Ziploc bag and set it off to the side. This will get used in the last round of the game. Determine the supply of population based on the number of players. For a two-player game, use the orange fish. For a three-player game, use the orange and yellow fish. And finally, for a four-player game, use the orange, yellow, and blue fish. Divide the supply into four piles and place one pile in the reef and one in each of the ocean zones. Give each player a player screen. The person who can hold their breath the longest goes first. Finally, give each player the correct bonus token based on the chart found in the rulebook. Now you are ready to play. In Oceans, the core rules will be modified during gameplay. Scenario cards will override core rules and will apply to every species in play. Trait cards will override scenario cards and the core rules, but only apply to the species that they are played on. Each turn consists of four phases. Playing cards, feeding, aging, and drawing. During the first phase, play one surface card to evolve a new or existing species or to migrate the population. To evolve a species, place the trait along the dark blue border on the left side of the card. If you are playing a new species, take a species board from the supply and place it on either side of an existing species, or in between two species with the fish pointing away from you, and place the trait card. This species is now active. A species may have multiple copies of the same trait, but can only have three trait cards unless a card specifically allows for more. Multiple copies will have cumulative effects. In the bottom left corner of the trait cards is a number with some wiggly lines next to it. That is the migration number. To migrate population, discard the card from your hand, choose either the reef or an ocean zone, and move the number of population equal to the migration to another location. If the population is less than the migration number, only move what is available. If the Cambrian Explosion has been triggered, you will play two cards and you can play deep cards. To play a deep card, you must move population equal to its migration number from your score pile to the reef or an ocean zone. Then, place as normal. You can remove cards from the species at any point during this phase. When discarding cards, trait cards are placed into the discard pile face up near the draw pile. If you're playing with the deep, deep cards are removed from the game. Choose one of your species to feed by either foraging from the reef or attack to take population from another species. There are a few rules for feeding. A species can only forage or attack if it will take at least one population and it has an open space on the species board. It may not take more population than open spaces on its board. The only time you can place a token on the space with the fish bones is if it's the only available space left on the board. Finally, you must take the total forage or attack value. You cannot choose to take less to avoid overpopulation. If the species is foraging, add up the green icons on the traits and take that number of population from the reef and place it on their species board. For example, this trait has a value of 5 and this trait has a value of 2, which means this species would have a total forage value of 7. A species that does not have a green icon on any of its trait cards gets a forage value of 1. 
If the species has any trait cards with a green general prohibition sign on it, it cannot forage for food. If the species is attacking, choose any other species to attack. This can include your own species. Add up the red icons and take that number of population from the target's board. If a species does not have any red icons, it automatically gets an attack value of 1. If the species has any trait cards with a red general prohibition sign on it, it cannot attack. To age your species, remove one population from each of your species and place it behind your player screen. If a species cannot age, that species has gone extinct. Discard all of the traits on the extinct species and return the board to the supply. Keep in mind that even though only one species will feed, all of your species will age. First, you may draw one deep card. You can either draw the top face-up card from the gene pool pile, or you can draw three cards from the deep deck, keep one, then place the rest face-up on each of the gene pool piles. If you are playing the reef variant, ignore this step. Then, you may discard surface cards from your hand. You cannot discard deep cards. Finally, draw back up to six cards from the surface deck. If the surface deck runs out, shuffle the discard pile to form a new deck. Then, play continues to the player on the left. A few more things. The Cambrian Explosion is triggered when the first ocean has been depleted. Remove the card from the ocean zone and place it in a play area visible to all players as a reminder. This stays in play even if players migrate population back into the first ocean zone. If your species is depleted on another player's turn, it will not go extinct. You'll still have another chance to feed on your turn. There are defensive traits that will protect a species from attacking the full amount or at all. Defensive traits are marked with a shell icon. Much like the forage and attack numbers, these are cumulative. You will add up the defense number and reduce the number of population an attacking species can take. There are gain cards that may be triggered during feeding or during attacks. These are marked by a blue gain icon, and an arrow identifies which adjacent species is affected by it. These cards also affect your opponent species as well. For example, even though this species is owned by another player, it's still adjacent to my species and would be affected by any of my cards, and vice versa. If your species overpopulates, remove population tokens until only five remain on the species board. The owner of the species can place the removed tokens in either the reef or any of the ocean zones. If a species overpopulates during its own feeding, it may not feed again this turn. This means that gain cards no longer affect the species this turn. Scenario cards come in blue and purple. Blue scenario cards have an active and ongoing effect when its ocean zone is emptied, and purple scenario cards get triggered each time an ocean zone is emptied. This can happen multiple times during the game. The final round is triggered when every ocean zone is completely empty of population. Place the reserve tokens into the third ocean zone. Play will continue until the last player in turn order has completed their turn. Players will score one point for each population in their score pile, one point for each population on their surviving species, and the points listed on their bonus token. The player with the highest score wins. In the case of a tie, the tied players with the most trait cards on their species wins. If there's still a tie, the first person to get a job on a fishing boat in Alaska is the winner. And that's Oceans. You can watch us play this and many other board games live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at twitch.tv slash boardgamehouse.